Good afternoon, everyone. Today I would like to talk about the increased ice formation across additional Great Lakes in the United States. It was an anomaly that Lake Superior started to form ice this early in the year, but now Lake Michigan and Lake Huron are both showing ice. And as the solar activity diminishes, which is the true driver of the climate on the planet, along with the heat sinks in the ocean that either absorb or release heat, if it is going into a cooling phase, we should start to see signs around us, which we are currently. Let's take a look at the Great Lakes. Events are unfolding up there, which are unprecedented in our modern era of early ice formation on Lake Superior, Lake Michigan, as well as Lake Huron. There shouldn't be any ice forming for at least the next three to four weeks. The average date of first ice from 1973 to 2002 doesn't even have a November bar on it, let alone an early November bar. Let's jump right into the November 15th ice coverage. This was the entire ice coverage for all of the Great Lakes. It was this little corner in the northwest part of Lake Superior. Fast forward two days and suddenly there's ice in Lake Michigan, as well as the periphery down around Duluth. And amazingly, now there's ice in Lake Huron. To let you take a look at a couple of pictures before the recent freeze in the United States that caused havoc, snowstorms 50 inches deep, temperatures 60 degrees Fahrenheit below normal, this is what the visible ice looked like before that storm rolled in. Another look through some of the harbors. Now, this is shallow water, so it would freeze first, of course. As we jump back and take a look at last year, there wasn't even any recorded ice until the first week of December. And that was last year, 2013 and 14. The green line is the 30-year median from 1980 out to 2010. We're going to blow right through that up into the 90 plus percent ice coverage for the lakes this year as we did last year. If we're going to take a single snippet of information, let's just jump into Lake Superior. There was no ice recorded even until the very last days of November, which was an early start last year as well. There's a lot of good data for temperature measurements and ice coverage measurements. You just have to scour into the internet. You might want to start with the Great Lakes Observing System. They seem to have all their buoys and information systems working currently. The center of Lake Superior is registering 39 degrees Fahrenheit, and that is buoy 45001. Now, one thing I found anomalous as I was going through a couple different temperature sets was I actually screen grabbed this twice. Now when you pop on one of the buoys, it would come up and there would be a water temperature, but there would be no November monthly mean average temperature. Or conversely, if you popped on one that did show the November monthly mean, it didn't have a recent water temperature. So I had to open two of them at the same time and grab different shots and overlay these. And I thought, it okay, maybe it would be one of these might happen, but then it happened again and again, and yet again. So I don't know where the temperature data is being misled, being hidden from persons, because those numbers, don't know if the data is actually being manipulated, but when you start looking at the November monthly mean compared to the average water temperature on November 12th, five degrees below normal, eight degrees below normal, seven degrees below normal. You know, the water's gonna freeze this year earlier, it's going to present a few problems for shipping later on in the year. And I wanted to draw your attention to the annual maximum ice cover put out by NOAA. This is a government agency, but their data set stops in 2013. Hey guys, what are you doing down there? Why does it take you a year and a half to update that? Let me tell you, it was 92% ice coverage from 2014. I'll help you with your chart. Hope you enjoyed something in the video here. There's a lot of manipulation with the temperature data going on so far as I see as I look through and try to, you know, find things for these videos. There's a lot of cutoff dates right around 2012 when we got into the sudden cooling between 2013 and now. 